Hello, everyone. Welcome to our class of Witch Cricket is Right for You. Kesley, our instructor, who is amazing and has a wealth of knowledge and also teaches our other Cricket with Michael's classes, will be teaching us today. Please stay tuned until the very end because we have a fun giveaway. So um, hope to see you at the end and best of luck. So Kesley, please take it away. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Also, I just want to introduce Lindsay, who's my MC today. And we do have some other cricket helpers on the line, Jenny and Carly, to help answer questions um, and feed me the questions as they come through. So we are super excited that you are here and you've joined the party. Um, welcome aboard. What we're going to hopefully help you figure out or discern is which is the right cricket machine for you. And my elevator speech or my cocktail party speech is that everybody needs to have a cricket. It is, um, they're, the, they're the greatest machines that really help take your crafting to a whole nother level. And it makes your crafting faster, more fun, and you will just, your mind can just be blown away by what you can create with a different cricket. So let's go ahead and get the party started. I've got Lindsay helping me out with my, sli my slides. And so the first question is always, who should get a cricket? And I always say, everybody should have a cricket. Um, any, if you're a DIYer or if you make crafts, if you are a teacher, if you are any type of creator, you will find a place for your cricket machine in your studio. So everyone's gonna enjoy it and have fun with it. Um, everyone has different creative and unique needs for their crafting. Some, some of you joining us today may be just getting started with, cra with crafting. Um, your craft specialty may be cards and you love to make cards and send cards, or you're really into making leather earrings. So how do you know which Cricut machine is right for you? And when people ask me this question, I always ask them three questions back. So I get a one for three there. When they say, Kesley, which machine should I get? I would say to them, well, what's your budget? How much do you have either socked away or ready to spend and splurge and treat yourself on a cutting machine? So the first question is, what is your budget? The next question is, what are you making? Are you a card maker? Are you a scrapbooker? Do you intend to use it to make t-shirts for your family? Do you wanna start a little side hustle? So what are you making right now today that appeals to you to get a Cricut machine? And then the third and final question I ask is, what are you going to make in the future? Because what you're crafting today might evolve and change. And I do have to say that with, a, with the different types of machines we have, it opens up opportunities for you and what you can create. So let me introduce you to the family. Cricut has three different machines. We have the Cricut Joy, the Explore Air 2, and the Cricut Maker. We're going to go through all three of the different machines and give you some of the key features for each machine. But did you hear? Cricut came out with a surprise this weekend and announced two additional new machines, the Cricut Explore 3 and the Maker, and I'm sorry, the Cricut Explore 3 and the Cricut Maker 3. They're so new, I just stumble over them still. I'm not, I'm not used to having them roll off my tongue yet. Um, but these are great new machines that we've added to the family and we'll talk about them as we go through each of the machines. But why don't we go ahead and get started with the Joy. The Joy is perfect to personalize, organize and customize. So I'll show you a couple things on my joy I have in front of me that I do. One of the key features is, <laughs> Lindsay's trying to stop sharing her screen, so we'll just give her a second. Lindsay, do you wanna shop the, okay, great. So the, the Cricut Joy is compact. It fits, um, it's, when it's closed, it's about this big and it would fit in a cubby. So it's, it, you can pull it out, you can craft with it, and then when you're done with it, you can clean up your space and put it away. It's tucked away, it's right there whenever you need it. You don't need a lot of space in front of you to work with it. So literally it can go on your kitchen counter. 
I got one for Christmas and we keep our toaster in the in the cabinet underneath. And I said, oh, perfect. I have a kitchen cricket. <laughs> so this gets on the counter over my um, toaster some days. But it's really, it's nice and small. It does have a smaller footprint here. So you have a five and a half inch width that you can cut with. And it works with or without a mat. So the Cricut Joy comes with smaller mats that are five and a half inches by six inches. So with your normal materials like vinyl, um, iron-on, paper, cardstock, all those materials, you would use a mat to put your materials on the mat and then feed it into your Cricut Joy. Now we do have some really special and unique features of the Cricut Joy. One of them is the card making mat. So the card making mat uses folded cards, pre-folded cards like this, and you tuck them onto the mat and then you slide that into the Cricut Joy and it will cut or draw your design right on the card. It, this is so perfect. Like if you're running out for one of your kids' parties and you've forgotten to get a card or make a card, you can make a card in less than five minutes and be out the door ready to go. It's also great because if one card just isn't enough to show your mom or your dad or somebody special in your life how much you love them, go ahead and make three. They're quick and they're easy and they're cost effective. Now, so Cricut Joy is also great for writing on things. We have a special Cricut Joy pen and the Cricut Joy has one tool holder that easily allows you to interchange from a cutting blade to a pen. So you just take your pen, slide it in there, and now you can draw on your card or labels. We have writable labels, vinyl labels, which has been very popular in my house to get us organized. So you can write on the vinyl, writable vinyl, <laughs> and you can also cut out words. This is my glitter tower, and I've, I'm not sure if you can see it with like a little bit of a glare, but I've cut out words for each of the glitter colors, and I've organized and labeled my glitter. So now I know where, which color is in which tower. The other thing that's fun with um, Cricut Joy, because you do have so many different materials you can use, I used our smart material. Cricut Joy smart material doesn't, oh, it's white. <laughs> Cricut Joy smart material doesn't use the mat. So when you want to create something quick and easy, my daughter's going to summer camp and she needs labels for the back of her clothes. So I made iron on labels with my smart material. Didn't need a mat. I just fed the material right into the Cricut Joy and was able to print out, print out, cut labels that will go on all of her shirts for camp. And I, did, I just did that, takes about five or 10 minutes and she is ready to go for camp. Um, let's see, what else am I, I wanna make sure I don't miss anything, Lindsay, about our cute little Cricut Joy. Um, it's also perfect for on the go. Did I mention that? It works with Bluetooth. So it, you can use our app on your phone or your tablet, a special Cricut Joy app that really lets you do quick and easy projects. And then um, it also works with design space, but it all connects with Bluetooth. So there's no wires, you just plug it in and you're ready to go. So that is another really cool feature on the Cricut Joy. Great, Kesley, I, you've answered, I think everyone's questions. One question that someone had is that looks so lightweight how much does it weigh so it weighs about 3.8 pounds so just under four pounds it is super lightweight super portable great for label making or card making yep you can also take it to jazzercise and do some arm curls <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going to slide this over um were there any other questions about the cricket joy Nope, I think we've got it all covered. Awesome. I think I'm gonna lose my Cricut Joy when my daughter goes to college. She's already threatened to take it. <laughs> Hi, Leslie, it's Jenny. I did have one good question that popped up and it says, can the Cricut Joy make stickers? That is a great question. So Cricut Joy um, doesn't have the same sensors 
that something like the Explorer Air or the Maker has to do the feature of print then cut. But you can use the writable vinyl and make stickers with the writable vinyl. So not the, not the colorful ones, but you can use the white writable vinyl and make stickers. And it's great for labeling like your spices and your flower containers and dog cook treats and all that kind of stuff. So that's great. Good questions. Keep them coming. All right. So we'll go back into the slideshow and talk about a little bit. Oh, okay. Sorry. We're ready to move on to explore. All right. So the Explore really can make your dreams come true. The Cricut Joy is nice, it's small, it's compact. It's perfect for organizing, for label making, for the quick cards, um, quick, think quick and simple when you think of Cricut Joy. When you come to the Explore Air, it gives you a little bit, it expands your options. So I forgot to mention the Cricut Joy works with 50 different materials. When you come into the Explore family, you can work with up to 100 materials, probably even more than that now. 100 different materials that you can cut with the Cricut Explore. Now, what you do is you, let me open it up here, show you the insides. One of the differences, Cricut um, Explore has two holders. So one holder will hold your cutting blade and the other holder will hold your pen. Now, this is great if you're drawing and cutting on the same piece of material because it does it in one sweep. You don't have to put your material in and out. Cricut Joy, um, excuse me, Cricut Explore Air also takes a lot of the guesswork out for beginners. The Cricut Explore Air 2 has the dial and you can adjust and select what material you're cutting right on the machine, which is a great feature. Um, it works with six different tools. So Cricut Joy works with one. Now we've expanded to six different tools, which allows us to expand what we're cutting. With the Cricut Explorer 2, you can cut things like bounded, uh, heat bonded, fa bonded fabrics. So if you're working on fabric projects or something with felt, you, you can work with that with the Explorer Air 2. Um, it has a scoring blade. So if you're making cards and you need those precise scoring lines, you've got that with the scoring blade. <coughs> Excuse me. The Explore Air really will take your crafting to a whole different level, um, especially if you've been doing things by hand or using other tools to cut images out. Um, this just does it really quick, really simple. It does uh, work with Bluetooth. So you have that same functionality, which is great. It also interfaces with our software design space. So anything you create in design space, you send over to your machine and it will cut out wonders for you. You'll be amazed with what you can do with it. Um, this is a great machine that will meet most of your crafting needs. Uh, if you're working on t-shirts for your family, if you're a scrapbooker, if you like to just do some vinyl home decor types of projects or some invitations, um, this is the perfect machine for you. If you're working on just, you know, that family reunion set of t-shirts every now and then, this is great. I always joke around when I would, if my kids were little and I'd bring their elementary school um, snacks or invitations or whatever, people, you know, I'd be that mom. Um, and I'd always think it's not that hard. I just used my Cricut. It was so easy. So that is, that is this machine for you. It is quick. It's, it's easy. Um, it works with a hundred different materials. You've got the six different blades and um, lots. Of, I'm trying to think of there are any features I'm forgetting about when you talk about all three machines at once. Um, you can you can miss things. So that's the Explore Air. Now, there are some things that are very exciting happening at Cricut. We just said that we were um, bringing out the Explore 3. And let me pull that over for you. Can you see that one? Got that one up a little higher. All right, here we go. So I've got these little rolling carts. They're so perfect for moving things around. So let's talk a little bit more about Explore. Uh, the Air 2. This is currently available at, um, at Michael's and it retails for $227. It is um, 
100, 100 different pieces of different types of material that you can cut with it works for most of your basic crafting needs. Um, one feature about the Explore Air that I always get questions on is what is this little spot here for? And this is where you can put in a legacy cartridge. So think of this like a Game Boy. And you know how Game Boy has different cartridges for different games? Well, they are used to be, back in the day, Cricut made cartridges with images on them. And we didn't want anybody to lose those images or lose that feature that they liked. So they added this feature to the Cricut Explorer Air 2 where you could insert your cartridge and use the cartridge. Well, now all those images are in our design space with Cricut Access. So we don't need this cartridge holder anymore. And that's something that's changed on the Explore 3. So let me grab this Explore 3 and I'll talk about a few quick changes on the cosmetics of it. So it's really sleek. All of the designs, the, it looks very similar um, the, between the two when you put them together. This is the pretty, I love this blue color. It's my, one of my favorites at Michael's, exclusive at Michael's. So I love that one. Um, but the features look very similar. One thing you don't see on the Explore 3 is the dial. So this is the dial on the Explore Air 2. Um, and you just turn the dial. It was a really simple way to choose your materials. With so many material options and the smart features in our software, we removed the dial on the Explore 3. So your material options now are done in the software. Same types of materials. You can still, you still have that option on the Explore Air 2. You just turn it to custom setting and then you choose the material you want to use in the software. We've also removed the cartridge holder because again, that's such a legacy product and we've added more storage space for your tool. So you can put your weeding tool, um, your scraper tools all go right in here. And one other small minor change, this machine has a C when you, where you're ready to cut and this machine now has a play. So it's a little bit more universal look. But there's other features on the inside of the Explore 3 that make this different from the Explore 2. So we've added sensors in the Explore 3 and we've expanded the line of smart materials. We talked about that in Joy. Smart materials are vinyl and heat transfer vinyl and iron-on vinyl and uh, sticker cardstock that you can use in your machine without needing a mat. So what does that mean for you? If you don't, if you're not familiar, that familiar with Cricut yet, maybe you don't know what a mat means. So Cricut offers two different sizes of cutting mats. We have a 12 inch mat and a 24 inch mat. So with your Explore 2, you put your vinyl on your mat and you can do it, you know, 12 inches wide by 12 inches long. And you put your material on your mat and then you add it to the machine. And this was the size, the biggest size you could cut on this mat or the biggest size using the 12 by 20 format. Smart material, what that does is it removes the need for the mat. So now using smart material on the Explore 3, you can cut up to 20 feet with no mat. So you can do a continuous cut up to 20 feet on the Explore 3 which is pretty exciting. So all those fun welcome, um, welcome boards and things like that you're seeing people create, you can do that now with the Explore 3 in the wider format compared to the Cricut Joy. All right, did I, did I miss anything on those? Any key features? Yeah, so um, someone asked, um, what about the tools that go in? If they already have an Explore Air 2, will those work with an Explore? floor three? That is a great question. Yes. So the housing is, is the same where the tools, where your tools go. So your tools that you work, that if you had an explore two and you're thinking of upgrading or changing to the explore three, you can use the same tools interchangeably. Not only are the tools interchangeable, but the, um, materials you can also continue to use. So if you have a stash of vinyl um, that you're still using and you put it on the mat, 
the Explore 3 takes the map too. So you can use up all those materials using the Explore 3. Yeah, and then another question about colors. So I know that the Explore Air 2 comes in a vast array of colors. Um, I believe that is the peacock there that Kesley has, which is exclusive to Michaels. Uh, and then um, boysberry, which is behind, that's the purple one that's also exclusive to Michaels. Um, right now, the Explore 3 only comes in that beautiful um, mint color. Um, but if anything changes, we will keep you posted. And you know what, Lindsay, the other neat thing about the Explore 3 is the material is a little bit different. So the top of the cutter is a matte finish. Um, so it's got like a really smooth texture, which on, you know, on video and everything, it's sort of like, oh, okay, that's nice. But then you see it and it's like, ooh, that is, that looks really good. Yeah. And then we have some questions about the price of the Explore Air 3 and it is $2.99. It is $2.99. Yes. So this is $2.99 and this is $2.27. Those are the MS manufactured suggested retail prices on both of those. All right, I will slide these guys out of the way then if we're ready to move on to, um, to our next one. Let me move this one out of the way. <laughs> so the next machine to talk about is the, um, the maker. And let me grab my maker over here. All right. Thank you, Lindsay. You're doing such a good job with my slides. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's meet the maker. The maker will melt your crafting heart. It did mine. Um, the maker came out, I don't even remember, 2015. Um, and it really blew me away with what it could do. The Maker has a has the double housing, so it's similar to the Explore Air in that it both has two housings. But the difference in the Maker was the um, the wheel housing, which allows a blade to pick itself up, rotate, and set back down. So the precision cutting with the Maker really can take your projects to the next level. Um, the maker expands on the materials that you can use. So your Joy had 50, the Explore Hair had 100. The maker can cut over 300 different types of material. So if you are the type of crafter who likes to try new, new, um, new crafts constantly or working with different materials or new materials, this might be the machine for you. You can cut very fine, um, materials with this, like vellum, you can cut that precision blade, really gets in there on the detail on fine materials like crepe paper and things like that. And then the other unique thing about the maker that expanded on the materials that you could cut is the force that the maker cuts with. So the engine in the maker press has, you know, the pressure that it puts down allows the machine to cut things like leather, balsa wood, um, mat board. You can cut fabric, your patterns, um, you can cut on the maker. In fact, that's one reason why I picked the maker was I was working on making doll clothes for my daughter and I could cut the patterns on the maker. So that the ability to cut all those different materials and not have to think, oh, I need a different machine or something like that really was very appealing to me as a crafter. Um, and the ease of use of it. So if you wanna, I don't know if you wanna come back on me, I can show you how easy it is. Oops, I don't have my blades handy. I've lost my blades, but it, they, it pops out the same way as the Explore Air. You open your clamp and you pull out your blade. So this is the rotary blade that's in here and you can just change it out and put in a new blade and then it just slips back in like that. So you can change out your blade. It has the double, um, the double housing. So you can add, 
your stylus and it even has a stylus wheel. So if you're doing more than cardstock, like if you want to be able to fold heavier materials, the scoring wheel is good. And then if you're really working with really thick materials, it has a double scoring wheel. So you really get fine scoring lines with the different wheels that are available for you to use. Um, so that's a great feature on it. One thing I didn't point out about the Explore Air, which I should have on the third, on the Explore Air 3, it's added this bar here. So you can take your phone, grab my phone, if you're crafting along on Design Space on your phone and you're ready to cut, you can just set your phone right in, in your, um, on your Explore or your Maker and have it right there. And there's even a USB port so you can be charging your phone up while you're crafting. So no dead battery while you're cutting. So let's see, the, let's see, what else am I missing on the Maker? 300 materials. I wanna make sure I tell them everything. There's so much that you can tell and share with these that you don't wanna miss anything, especially if you're trying to make a decision on which machine is the right machine for you. I do like this, now this one's a little bit heavier. It's because of the engine inside. So your maker is a little bit heavier than the explorers are. Um, so if you're putting it up in a closet, like if, if space is an issue and you have to organize and clean between your crafting times, um, an explorer air is light and you can easily put it up where this is a little bit, has a little bit more weight to it. And that's what gives it some of those unique features um, for cutting all those different materials. It also cuts fabric. So we talked about the mats and the, it maker, since it cuts fabric, we have a special fabric mat to cut the fabric with. Lindsay, jump in if I'm forgetting anything. Yeah, no, you you just answered my next question. If someone asked, how do you cut fabric with a maker? Um, and then another question is, how long do the blades last and are, are there replacement blades? You know, it, it varies on you know what you're doing, but the blades do last a long time. And yes, you can buy replacement blades if you know you are doing especially a lot of projects and they need to be replaced. Yes, and the, the replacement blades, it's really easy to replace the blades on um, the fine point blades and everything to pop those out and replace those blades. Um, very easy to do. And I, you know, I think I've only had to replace my blade like two or three times maybe. So they do last a while. It just depends on how much you're crafting and what you're crafting. Like if you're crafting heavier, thicker materials, you might dull your blade a little bit faster. Or if you're crafting, you know, long lengths every day, <laughs> you might cut it. Um, was there any other questions on yeah, the- a really good question. Someone said, I'm a beginner. Is the maker like way over my head? Okay, so the answer is, again, you have to go back to those three questions. What's your budget? What are you currently making? And what do you want to be making? Um, the Maker has all of the same features as the Explore Air in terms of, you know, it, it can cut all the same materials. Let me bump this guy out of the way. It can cut all the same materials that your Explore can cut. It, so if you just were to get the, if you were to get the Maker, I would say if you thought I'm going to do all these, I want to cut wood, I want to cut leather. If you wanted to do all that type of stuff and you, but you were a little bit hesitant because it seems a little bit more than you can handle in terms of a, a, a learning curve, um, I would say don't worry about it. Because if you start with the simple things, um, then you just build up your knowledge and your expertise on what you can as, as you go. And Michael's is really great. We do, I, I do it with them. So I offer, um, I teach the 101 class and we also have a 201 class. So when you get a machine, you can just pop in on a class check it out. We have the classes are all recorded. So you can go even just go online um, to Michael's YouTube channel and find a 101 class and take the class and start and just start learning right out of the box. You can go. So I don't think it is um, over anybody's head to get started with the machine. If you're really like, oh, I, that's too much technology for me. Maybe the joy is the right machine for you. So it's all about finding your sweet spot and what your needs are. Yes, and then the um, maker um, is $369. Yes. All right, now for the- oh, And really quickly, a lot of questions. Yes, with the maker, you do need a mat. 
Yes, with the with the first gen maker, you you will use a mat. You'll use a 12 inch mat or a 24 inch mat, depending on what you're cutting. Yep. But when you get to the maker three, and again, the introduction of the smart materials, you don't need to use a mat if you're using smart materials. So the maker three does all everything that the original maker can do. So if you have, if you own an original maker and you just love your maker, um, don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have to get the new one or I'm, I'm gonna be missing out on something. Um, it still is, a, they're, all the machines are fabulous machines and they work with design space to, to create whatever it is that you want to create. With the Maker 3, it offers, it's powerful, it's versatile, and it's revolutionary. So what makes it revolutionary is using the smart materials and the sensors that are in the machine to use those smart materials. So what does that mean? That means when you're using smart materials, you don't need to use a mat. So you can cut up to 12 feet of material, which I know you're probably like me thinking, when am I ever gonna cut 12 feet of vinyl or iron on? When do I need to do that? Well. I can tell you, I've been walking around my house, looking at my walls going, oh, I could do something there. That's a long wall. I could do something on that. And I've started thinking about all the different places that I could put 12 feet of vinyl. But it's also about the speed. So when you use Smart Vinyl with the Maker 3 or the Explore Air, it does cut so much faster. And it's really, once you see it in action, um, it's very impressive. So, and why, did, why is that important? Why would you need that feature? Why would that matter to you? Well, if you've got a side hustle and you're making t-shirts and you're taking vinyl, iron on vinyl, and you're putting iron on vinyl on a 12 by 12 mat and putting it in the machine, you know, wash, rinse and repeat that 12 times to make a dozen shirts where, it takes time. With your Maker 3, a long roll of vinyl, your holder tray, you can cut all those t-shirts at one time. So you can be busy doing something else while your Cricut machine is cutting 12 of the image over and over again. So it's great in that sense and it's very speedy in that sense. So it is a big time saver if you're cutting big items and a lot of items. If you're working on t-shirts for your family reunion, your maker is going to be perfect for that too. Don't worry, your Explore Air will do that also. But if you're really cranking out a lot, a lot of t-shirts, if, if you consistently make t-shirts for the softball team and the soccer team, then you might want to consider going to the, the Maker 3. Okay, now what else makes it different? So let's explore some of the key features. We have the bar here to hold your iPad um, and that's fantastic. You have the upgraded uh, play go button here to, when you're ready to cut. Um, you have the storage case, you have the sensors. Now on the Maker 3 here, I have attached a holder. So it's a roll holder tool and it works with both the Maker 3 and the Explore 3. So you can take, you only need one, you can switch it between the machines or if you just have one machine, then you just need one holder. But what it's great for is when you're cutting those really long cuts, you put your roll of material in the roll holder. The machine is so smart, it measures your material for you. So it says, oops, you don't have 12 feet of vinyl. You only have 10 feet of vinyl and your image is 12 feet. So get, get longer vinyl before we start cutting. Um, it does that sensing for you. You don't have to measure 10 feet of vinyl before putting it into your machine. It also has, um, let me just take my paper, my vinyl out here. It has a cutter. So when it's done uh, doing the cuts, it comes back and you just can cut it right there. And then you take it off and everything else stays on, that you haven't used, stays on the roll. I wanna make sure I don't miss anything again um, on our, our fun stuff. Let's see. So this, now in your, um, on regular material, it will cut faster. 
even when you're using a mat. When you're using a mat on the maker, there's a fast, um, fast cut setting that you can turn on. This regular cutting speed is equivalent to the fast cutting speed in the maker. So when we say it's faster, it that's one of the reasons why we say it's faster is it takes the fastest speed of this and that's the base speed here. Um, you've got, oh, and the question we had before on your air, on your Explore Air, can you use the same tools or do you need to get new all new tools? The answer is no. So all the tools you use, all your um, blades and your stylus and everything that you use in your maker, you can use in the maker three. So you don't have to have new tools. You may not have all the tools and now with all the possibilities, you may want more tools, but you don't have to repurchase or they didn't change any of the tools. So again, the holders will hold the same tools between the two different machines. Um, the retail on the Maker 3 is $399. And Lindsay, the retail on the Maker? Is, oh, hold on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Not misspeaking, just a second. The retail on the maker is 369. Okay, perfect. And right. um, some really great questions. Um, you went over the blades. Um, colors. Yes, the maker, um, the <laughs> the maker comes in a couple of different colors. It comes in champagne and pink and blue. The um, maker three right now only comes in that bluish, purplish um, color. Again, if <laughs> Cricket always has surprises up their sleeves. Mm -hmm. So if anything changes, we will be sure to let you know. Awesome. Um, some questions about the carts that you have those on. People are saying that those are perfect. Aren't they great? <laughs> um, you know, just the size of all the crickets. So where did you get those? So I got them at Michael's um, and they are the perfect width to hold your machines on top. They're super sturdy. Um, they have drawers. I've decorated all my drawers so I know exactly where to find everything. So you can store your materials inside on this one on drawers. And on this cart, I have little baskets and things that I can store my um, heat press on and everything like that. So it stores right in there. This one is a has a top on it. Yep. So and then I, a, a I, question. I oh, the sorry. Time. Sorry. Oh, and then a question about um, the um, width or the length of material on the maker mm -hmm. and air two. Those are limited to the mats, which are 24 inches long. Right. The Explore three and the maker three can cut up to 12 feet with smart materials. Right, right. So when you're using smart material, now you, the rolls come in different sizes too. So when you purchase, when you get your rolls of vinyl. They do come in different um, different lengths. So this one here is a nine foot roll. And this is a three foot roll that I have here. And there's even a bigger one to do those longer 20 foot cuts. I just don't have it. I mean, 12, 12 foot, is it 12 foot or 20 foot? It's 21 foot. 20, okay. I still have one the 21 foot for the vinyl. Okay. And I'm, um, we will get into this next, but um, a lot of people about questions about smart vinyl versus normal vinyl. Mm -hmm. The difference between smart vinyl is that you do not have to have a mat. And those work with the Explore 3 and the Maker 3. Um, yes, you can still use if you decide to get um, um, a new machine. And yes, you, with a mat, you can still use your existing vinyl on those machines. And if you want to buy smart vinyl and you have a Maker or Explore um, Air 2, you can put that smart material on a mat and use it. Yes, yes, that's the, that's what I really think is the beauty of it because even when you use the vinyls, um, you may not use the whole piece. You may have some of it that, you know, you're cutting out and you're not using. Um, you can later use that scrap on a mat and still cut with it. So you wanna save your scraps because you can cut those with a mat later on. And the other thing too is the, um, the smart vinyl, the glitter has the transfer tape inside the box for the, 
for the strong grip transfer tape. If you're using a textured vinyl, your transfer tape is in the, in the packaging, which is nice. One other quick thing that I have, I've gotten questions on with these, with the new machines. Um, what, what happened to the Maker 2? Where was that? So we, Cricut didn't do a Maker 2. We just did the Maker, which was the first Maker. And then to bring the generation together, they called this the Maker 3. And so you have an Air Explorer 3 and a Maker 3. If you happen to have a Maker 2, you could probably get a pretty penny for it because it doesn't exist. <laughs> It's like a unicorn. <laughs> All right. Any questions then on these before we kind of move on? You're on mute. Oh, no, I think we're good. Um, there was um, a couple of questions about um, vinyl for water bottles. All three of these machines will work for vinyl for water bottles. All five of these machines will work with vinyl for water bottles. Right. That's a great question because I know that's a big, um, that's a fun thing to do is make stickers for your water bottles. And same, same with t-shirts. It just depends on the size and design of your shirt. But yes, they will all cut, iron on. Um, all, all five are great options. Just depends on your needs. It does. So, um, all right, so let's start talking a little bit about the materials, which we've sort of covered as we've gone along. But if you're if you're new to, to Cricut, if you're new to this type of crafting, um, you might have questions about what you can put in the machines. So we have smart materials, and these are vinyl and iron-on and sticker paper materials that you can load into the mat without into the machine without a mat. So you don't have to pre-measure, you don't have to cut your material, you can just load it right in. So that is a big time saver um, when you're using your machine to not have to measure and cut and put it on a mat and then take it off the mat. Um, the smart material comes in, like I said, it comes in the sticker cardstock, it comes with iron-on, vinyl and permanent vinyl and removable vinyl. So also our premium vinyl comes with removable vinyl and permanent vinyl. So what is the difference between removable vinyl and permanent vinyl? Re removable vinyl makes it super easy to change up your ideas. So if you like to decorate for the holidays or if you're just doing a small space of decoration, you can change it out in a snap. You can um, put something up for the season and then go, okay, time to change out for the new season. We're getting ready for summer. Let's take off the spring de decal and put up our summer decal. So removable vinyl can stay on um, your decor for up to two years with no uh, sticky residue or anything being left behind. And it really does stick. Um, I know, you know, it's, it's really convenient that it's removable, but it's, it doesn't um, remove on its own. Like, so you do have to get a, get a corner, like I use removable on here. You do have to get a corner of it started to be able to, to take it off. Um, but it does come off and it doesn't leave any residue. So you can just put your next decoration up, which is really nice. And then permanent vinyl, will la it, it's, it will last and last and last for you. It is both water resistant and UVA resistant. So it will last, if you use it on decorations outside, it will last up to three years. And I actually, from my my own experience, it's lasted longer than that. I decorated um, planters with my son's graduation three years ago, and they're still out there, and no color has faded. So um, they're very they're very user friendly. They also are permanent vinyls are washable. So as long as you're putting them on a surface that is washable, they can go in the dishwasher, and and you'll have no problems. I also have things I've done with hand washing. Um, that I just have put a vinyl sticker on and hand washed it and I, it hasn't come off. And I think 
that's been for a long, I don't even know how long that one thing I'm thinking of has been on. But now with the um, smart vinyl, you can do really super long decorations. Like in the picture Lindsay has up, I absolutely love the car with the mountain scene on the side of it. So again, you may not be thinking, oh, I already have ideas for it. But when you see the possibilities, your, your mind is going to be turned on in ways that you just didn't think were possible um, with what you can create. Now, either whether you're using removable vinyl or permanent vinyl, you want to use what's called transfer tape. And transfer, base, transfer tape basically helps you remove your design from the vinyl backing so that you can seamlessly put it on the whatever material you're making. So if you're making um, circles or flowers or something like that, you may not need transfer tape. But if you are putting your images, um, if you're using words or things that are really important that you line them up, like on my cart, my choose happiness or choose kindness, I use transfer tape. So that transferred over together and I kept the placement all the same. So you will want to have your vinyls and your transfer tapes. Now, when you do iron on heat transfer, also known as heat transfer vinyl, you don't need a transfer tape. Um, iron on vinyl is fantastic. You can put it on so many different surfaces from wood to fabric to everything. Once you get started personalizing with iron on, you are going to be chasing people around like, oh, I could put a, I could put something on that. I could decorate that. I could do that. Um, and, and everything will become custom designed with all the different materials you have at your fingertips. The last type of material Cricut has is the infusible ink transfers. And infusible ink works differently than anything else Cricut offers. So infusible ink is... Um, for lack of a better way to explain it, um, it is a design on special paper that when applied to the right surfaces, surfaces that are appropriate for heat, for infusible ink, um, the design infuses into the material. So it actually, the, it chemically breaks down and infuses into the material and becomes one with the material. So you can't, feel the design on it. When you use heat transfer vinyl, you can feel the vinyl on the top of the design. But when you use infusible ink, it just sucks it right into the fabric. And it is the most permanent, long lasting um, design you can possibly create. It's fantastic. Yeah, Kesley, we got some questions on does vinyl work on wood? Yes, vinyl does work on wood. Um, you can use it depends on where you're putting it. Um, if you're putting it on, on the outside or the inside, um, if it's pre-coated or not, you can use, uh, that would tell you if you want to use permanent vinyl or removable vinyl. Like if you're decorating the risers of your stairs, you may want to use removable vinyl so that you can take that off and change it. If you have a piece of wood that's um, aged and seasoned and you want to put your address on it, you might want to choose um, permanent vinyl to do that with. And I have actually done iron on on wood. It does make a difference. You want your surface to be um, rough, a little rough when doing iron on so that it, the glue, the adhesive can suck in there and stay and hold. Yeah, and we don't have a slide for this, but lots of questions about sticker sheets. What is the best material to use for sticker sheets? All right. Well, that's a great question. And actually a, a feature we didn't even really talk about with the new three machines. Um, it, the Explore three and the Maker three can both do um, what's called a feature called print then cut. So you can design stickers in design space send them to your printer, your physical printer, print them out, bring them back to your maker or your explorer and cut the design out on your machine. So you can use that feature, the print then cut is, is for more than just stickers. Cricut does have sticker paper and we have clear sticker paper. And my favorite is the vinyl sticker paper. So I use all three of those to make stickers. Great. And then questions about Joy Smart Materials. So 
Joy has um, pre-cut smaller smart materials. So you do not have to take the smart materials for our Explore 3 and our Maker 3 and cut them down. There are special, um, specially sized smart materials for Joy. And remember, you can also use a mat with Joy and any of the other machines as well. I just think I know I have um, smart material. I can show you the difference. So your smart material comes in little packing for your Cricut Joy comes in smaller sizes like this. And then for your Explore and your Maker, it comes in bigger sizes like this. And you can also use premium vinyl in Cricut Joy just on the mat. So sometimes we forget about that. Did you have any more questions? I, I think we're good. I know that there's a lot of questions and we are doing our best to, to get to them. So um, should we talk about design space? Oh yeah, let's, that's a, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, let's go to design space because that really is, is key. So design space is the software that aligns with the hardware. So design space is a downloadable app that you can use on so many different platforms. You can use it on a phone, a tablet, a laptop, and a desktop. It is, um, you, it's, it's where the design happens. It's kind of where the magic happens. So if you are new to Cricut, please check out our website um, to make sure that your system is compatible with design space. Because I would hate for anybody um, to go home and go, oh, my computer's not fast enough, or I don't have the updated Windows version, or, you know, don't want that to be an obstacle. So before selecting your machine, make sure your computer system, whatever system you're going to be using to create, will work with uh, design space. But design, and we, that's the 101 class. It's so good um, to get started right as you, right as you get your machine and learning design space. Now, what Cricut Access is, is Cricut Access is access to an, a huge library of images and fonts and projects. So there's three different levels. Um, design space is completely free. There's no charge for it. Um, you don't have to pay for it or anything like that. You have access to design space for free and you have um, some images in there are free as well as some fonts to work with that are free and you can upload your own images into design space. Now, if you are getting started and you don't have a library of images or you don't want to upload more images, that's not something you're interested in, Cricut Access is a huge library of images. There's over 100,000 different images that you can choose. Sometimes I have so many choices, it takes me a while to, to make a selection because there's so much I can choose from. So we do have the standard um, Cricut Access option as well as the premium Cricut Access option. And we really, I encourage you to check out the website. I think we can pop a link in the chat for you um, where you can look at those and figure out which is the best option for you. Now, when you do get a new machine, it comes with 30 days free access to Cricut Access. So you can take it for a spin and give it a try and see what, how you wanna interact with Cricut Access. So that's always a good thing. And you only need one uh, Cricut ID to use uh, Design Space and Cricut Access. So you sign, when you get your machine, you set up a Cricut ID, you download Design Space, and you can get started creating. So you only need to have one Cricut ID, whether you have five machines or if you have one machine. Um, if you're working between, if you're on the go creating, like let's say you're waiting in line at the carpool and you're creating on your tablet. Well, when you, you save your image up to the cloud in design space, and when you get home, you can sit down at your computer, pull that image back up and send it onto your machines. So it's really, really on the go. <laughs> now, I bet everybody's asking, when can they get their machines? The um, Cricut Explore 3 and Maker 3 will be available online at michaels.com 
January 9th at 11 p.m. Central Time. So you can order it online, um, keep your eye on that, or if you wanna wait until they're in store and check out all the different options, they'll be in store June 27th. The Explore Air 2 and the Maker and the Cricut Joy are all in stock at Michael's now. So if, that, if that's the right machine for you, then you can just go grab that today and join us for our class on, I, I think we have our class on Monday, join us for our class on Monday. But if you're even more anxious, oh, will you back up one screen? If you're more anxious to get started and you can't wait till next Monday for our class, um, you can definitely check out uh, Michael's YouTube channel and michaels.com backslash cricket. Both of those are excellent sort resources for more information and more ideas and projects. We did, um, there's a great class for the mug press. If, you know, when you get, when you get creating, you're like, I can make mugs, what? Um, that's, a, that's a great class. And then also learn.cricket.com and the official Cricket YouTube channel. So you have lots of resources to learn more about the different machines. And I was mentioning our classes we have coming up. So we do have um, the 101 class coming up June 7th. We have um, the, we're doing a special class on the Explore 3 and a special class on the Maker 3. So both of those will be June 10th. Um, and those are some exciting classes we have coming up. And did we have something else, Lindsay? Yes, we have a giveaway. And so we have selected participants at random that we are so excited. So um, if I call your name, please message us directly in the um, Q&A chat so that we have your name, address, um, and phone number or email just in case we need to get a hold of you. So without further ado, um, Angie C has won a joy. We are so excited. Cynthia. Um, Perez has won an Air 2. Um, Fiona Campbell has won a Maker. Um, Megan S. has won an Explore 3. And Tanya has won a Maker 3. So oh my gosh. And so excited. So if you would please um, message your addresses and information. Um, we are so excited for you and we will get those sent out to you. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. Now, for I just, the... just want to say that for Megan and Tanya, um, we won't get those sent out until those are released. So you'll need to be a little patient, but they are on their way. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah. So while we are waiting for um, messages, <laughs> um, let's answer some more questions. So yeah. roll holder. The roll holder will work with Explore 3 and Maker 3, which yes. is awesome. Um, as far as Apple products, yes, your Apple products will work with Design Space. Um, make sure to go to um, learn.cricket.com to check your specific system requirements and make sure. Um, let's see, are the tools interchangeable? So um, if you have, you know, your Explore Air 2 tools and then you go to the Explore 3, yes, those tools are interchangeable. And um, as well as um, the Maker to the Maker 3, those tools are interchangeable. And the Maker and the Maker 3 have um, embossing and um, scoring options. And there's a lot of, a lot of extra tools because I know there were some questions about those. And the mats are interchangeable too. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have different mats for the Explorer or the Maker. The Joy, you need a smaller mat, but the other machines all will use the same mats. Yes. And they last, the, my mats last forever. I don't think I've ever just like thrown a mat away. Yeah, and then we had a, Kesley, do you want to answer the question about the press. We had a really good um, questions about the Easy Press. Yes. What was the question? Just what is the Easy Press for? So just I think the basics. The basics of it. All right. I actually have mine here. So the Easy Press comes in, I think, four different sizes, and it um, you just plug it in and you set 
your time and the temperature on your easy press and you use it to press images with iron on vinyl. Um, and what is so great about it, again, it's like that smart, um, a smart machine on Cricut's website. I can't think of the uh, link right now, but on Cricut's website, you can just go in and find which material you're using and which material you're putting it on. So if you're using glitter iron on and you're using a cotton base, you can get the um, temperature and the time for pressing it down. And then you can also find out if it's a cold, a cold release or release it when it's hot. And what that means is, do you have to let it cool down before you remove the design or do you, can you remove the design right away? So um, the heat presses work with iron-on vinyl and it also works with um, infusible ink vinyl. So if you're making coasters or you're making t-shirts, you can just use your easy press. And I'll tell you, we have, um, there's, so there's four different sizes. This little guy here is my favorite. It's, um, it's a little, it's, a it's tiny. What, you, what is it? I don't remember what it's called, but it's a tiny one. And my son actually took it to college um, because he was making something and he said he needed it for college. But this is a great little one. So again, if you have the joy, um, I would highly consider picking up one of these so you can do little iron-ons. It's small, so it gets in little spaces. So if you're doing things on baseball hats, you can do that or shoes, you can um, use that with that too. So that's a great, that's a great size. If you're wondering where to start, which size to start with. That's one of my favorites. Um, I know that there were lots of questions about like t-shirts and which machine is right for making um, t-shirts and scrapbooking. Oh, great questions. So um, either the Maker or the Explore Air are great for t-shirts. Um, they both cut the iron-on vinyl really nice. So, and, and infusible ink, they both cut very nice. So again, if you're doing just a couple of t-shirts for friends or your family, then the Explore Air, I have both of the threes here, the Explore Air 2 would meet your needs. If you have a side hustle or you're, like I said, you're cutting out t-shirts for a football team consistently or a baseball team, you may want to wait and get the three so that you can do those long, those long cuts. Now, for scrapbooking and paper crafting, the Explore Air is great, as is the Cricut Joy. I'm actually um, headed out sometime, at some point this summer to the beach, and I like to always bring some scrapbooking to do with my mom. So I was thinking I would bring my Joy so I could make my titles on my scrapbook pages with the Joy. If you wanted to make full page scrapbook pages, then the Explore Air or the Maker would be great for that. And one thing I really have to say that I love about both of these machines for scrapbooking is so many times I hear people tell me, oh, I hate my handwriting, I hate my handwriting. But part of being the historian for your family is writing down the story that goes along with the pictures. And if you don't like your handwriting, you can use either machine to, and even the Cricut Joy with the pen and write out the story right on your scrapbook paper. So that is, you know, if that's a stumbling block or holding you back from writing down your family stories, that's a great, great reason to get a machine. And I do a lot of, I do a lot of scrapbooking. Um, so I, I really find I use the Explore Air more for my scrapbooking projects and I use the Maker more for my fabric projects. So you can cut with marine vinyl if you like to do leather earrings. Um, marine vinyl is, um, you can get a lot of different printed types of marine vinyl and that cuts out really nicely on the Maker. Because especially with the um, rotary blade. That's my favorite. I love to watch that in action. It's my favorite blade. 
Well, thank you everyone for joining us and thank you to Kesley for going <laughs> through all of that. There are so many machines to choose from. You really can't choose wrong. Each one is built with your creativity in mind. And our goal is really just to give you all the tools that you need to create everything that you ever wanted to create. So thank you so much for being here and um, joining us in the celebration of these two new additions to the Cricut Machine family. And if you have any questions, be sure to check out michaels.com. They have classes that have been pre-recorded that Kesley has taught. Um, and you can also find a lot of additional information on there, pricing and opportunities to buy coming soon on the new machine. So we look forward to talking with you more. Thanks everyone. Thanks everybody.